Well, as you know, lads, Paddy's Day, or St. Patrick's Day as they call it, it's an international celebration of alcoholism. Yeah. You drink to that? Tell you who St. Patrick is now. St. Patrick is a Welsh lad who came over here to Ireland back in the olden days. He went up on top of St. Patrick's Hill, known as Crow Patrick. Chased the snakes off and oh, everyone used to love to see him coming. He was great crack. He really loved to have a laugh and you know, it was literally like, imagine Jeff Goldblum walking down the street and you could have a few pints with him. That's what St. Patrick was about. He just liked a bit of mass, you know, going out, having a few pints, having the crack with people in a reptile free environment. Why do the Irish drink so much? It's because we're so ambitious. You know, we all want to be artists, writers, and you know, we want to make music. And sometimes it doesn't all pan out. So we have to regroup, have an old pint. I've been pondering this question a long time. Well, in the grander scheme of things, humans have been on this planet for a nanosecond. Us Irish come up with the idea you're here for a good time, not a long time. Hangover cure. Well, a Thai green curry, spaghetti bolognese, hash, loads of hash. Trying to do a, a light, brisk walk around the, the, the fields, uh, a sexy woman. For hangover cure, I'd uh, recommend uh, maybe a haircut. Short back and sides and you feel a lot better. Change the jocks because you're wearing them all day. I suppose go for the cure, hear the dog, you know. Get some hair gel and uh, just put it into a glass with a bit of olive oil and an egg. And you drink that, man. Well, I'm more new age in my uh, treatment of this. Yoga where you're hanging upside down is good because all the blood goes to the hair follicles. So if you're going bald, you might grow some stuff back. Plus you get some brain development going. So I put a dinner in the blender, a salad in the blender, cooked and raw meats. Throw them all in, drink that and then maybe go for a walk uh, beside the salt ocean. The thing about St. Patrick's Day internationally is that they, they love green trunket trees, like a green water pump. What the hell is it all about, like? Green flags, green jacks, green jocks, green beer. They go mad for it. The Americans love this type of crack. Do you know what I mean? Advice for Paddy's Day. Well, when it comes to the women, I would say aim high, because your standards are going to drop. Big time. Well, I hope this has been an insight to St. Patrick's Day from the minds of a few Irish men like ourselves. Well, this is actually a pre record now. It's not us actually on Paddy's Day. There's no point in filming us boys on St. Patrick's Day. Come St. Patrick's Day, we're going to be absolutely off the chank. We'll be in an absolute hoop, lashed out of it, off the rocker, gay eyed. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you and yours, wherever you may be. Cheers,